Well, hello again. Here's another SketchUp.com free tutorial. What I wanted to do today is compare SketchUp interface with the Autodesk Inventor interface that I've told you about. So let's see about how long it takes me to make a queue and you can evaluate it. First, I click this and I'm watching. On my computer, it moves very rapidly, so seems nice. Okay, literally just want to make a queue. So create new, here's the system. Go down here, make it decimals, change this to 0.25, slady, delete, and then I'd go to a front view, parallel projection, grab a box, in this case, I click, and as I draw, let's say I want to make a one by one by three square peg. So I'd go one comma one, enter, be alarmed. Now I can rotate it or give myself a bit of a rotation. Use the push pull tool, push back. Three, enter. Yeah, so not bad. And why don't we see how Autodesk Inventor is? Okay, well, in this case, Autodesk Inventor is an icon on my desktop. This software is already loaded on my computer. It's not internet-based. And when you open up the interface, which did seem to rapidly open, usually click this to just close it down. I go new, standard IPT, which is like Inventor part, create making one part the square peg. So once this interface loads, start a 2D sketch, click on the XY plane, you'll see the shapes. Here's the rectangle that you're familiar with, click. And now to make this a one by one, you just type one tab one, enter, and that makes it one by one inch. Then you finish sketch and I'm manipulating with the middle mouse wheel. Still fairly familiar with it. Anyway, I just clicked extrude. You can push it this way, that way, three inches. I feel the benefit here is, let's say I want to change this. So if I double click this, then I change to say five inches. That's what I like about this. Change this to two if I want. Finish sketch. And there are fun toys here. Fill it. You can move, you know, put the round corners on. Um, apply. Now to draw a hole on the side, start a 2D sketch, double click. You could put a circle. Let's put it right on the dot there. Finish sketch. Extrude, and you cut this direction. See, there are tools to go that way, that way, both ways, both ways in different lengths. Anyway, there. And then this says cut, so I'm cutting through. Okay. Um, up here is the navigation cube that I tend to use. Let's just move it right here. So you can look at it from all different directions. And as I've been showing you, you want to model in front view right view, top view, you know, you rotate around with these cubes and you can rotate in various ways or grab it and just rotate it. That's, so this is how the interface of, you know, just some small tools, um, they have different things like threading, coil, try a thread right there. Oh, I just put it, it's a fake thread, but it, that information can be sent to a customer and then they actually put that thread in there. See, so it's got some di digital information for like CNC machines, lathes, caps and dies and all that. I don't know. I mean, anyway, I enjoy the software. I, maybe you would like to look at more Autodesk Inventor. I hope you had fun.